Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 6 of our 13th season here at RFC Liège. Yes, we have finished 13 seasons, or if we will do at the end of this episode, and we are still going strong. Right then, you can see some rather disappointing looking results up there on the top right. Ignore that for now because it's not been as bad as that looks. Let's go and check out how things have gone uh, and then we will uh, we'll move forward. As you can see, the, the board are pretty happy with things. So we've got a B, which isn't bad financially. We are struggling, but I'm supremely confident the board will chuck some money into it again. We've got a good transfer budget. Hopefully that will stay for next season. We'll have a look at whether that is retained. And the wage budget, again, is, is pretty good. We're well under the wage budget now, but hopefully none of these things will drop because if we, we are able to continue with this, I think we again can strengthen the squad that we have. And that will be important. Right then, folks, let's just have a quick shufty through the games that we've played. So we had that cracking 4-1 win against Mechelen in the uh, the game that you guys saw last time out. So that was an important victory. And we followed that up, actually, with quite a nice game against High Flying Cotswick. They're doing very, very well this season. They're in the top eight, I think, currently. Um, they took two goals um, either side of half time uh, the first one from Thierry Wapatelele which is a hard one to say but you may or may not remember this guy but he did come from us all the way back in the uh, B League so yeah we sold him for 30 grand <laughs> that's a little bit frustrating but uh, yeah he, he has moved on now um, and uh Goal for us came from Pikega. We got Yakwat sent off, but we did give them a good game here. We perhaps should have got a little bit more out of this game. We, we, in, the, uh, in the first half, it was fairly even in terms of chances, but the highlights were to us uh, and we just weren't able to put them away. They weren't falling to the people we want them to fall to. As you can see, Pikega did get himself a chance there, uh, but he had a couple of other opportunities uh, that he spurned. But then he made up for that very nicely in the next game. Two goals for Pikega in a 2-1 victory over Club Bruges. Best result of the season. It's been a while since we've beaten them as well, so uh, it was good to get a win there. Um, followed that up against the other surprise package this season, Zolt Vargem. We were 0-0 with them pretty much for the whole game, and uh, we decided to try and push for a goal. It was a mistake. As soon as we went positive, then they just... <laughs> they just uh, went up the other end and, and hit us on the break. So uh, ended up uh, losing that 2-0. Gutting. Um, we followed that up with an away win against Lierse. This was good. We took an early goal, which was um, nice. Pekega, of course, with that goal. Um, so we were in a pretty good position um, at that point. And then we followed that up with... A, yeah, a pretty good position and uh, managed to hold off Leo. So he came back into it in the second half, but you can see some good performances throughout. Van Damme got a bit of an injury. I think that kept him out. For, no, he didn't. He managed to kept, get back. He had a little bit of an injury, for, but we were had sufficient time between the matches to get him back in there. We don't really have a replacement for Van Damme, and that's something I'd like to do. Against STVV, it was a 0-0 draw. Maybe this should have gone a little bit better. There was very few chances in the game. Pikega did not have a sniff at all. And you can see a 6.3 just kind of sums it all up. Um, we then played Charleroi. And I tried I, I tried to go attacking because Charleroi are the team with Omatoye, who is one of the other goal scorers who is, is up there for the uh, the goal scorer award, as is Pikega, or was Pikega. Um I thought, like, let's let's see if we can push Pikega into a into a good performance, but it didn't work. Here, and he got a five point nine. He was he was absent without leave. It wasn't good. <laughs> Omatoya got himself a hat trick, so uh, that's put Pikega out of that that chance of being the top goal scorer. But he's been in it all the way through the season. I think it's been an awesome season for him. Um, and then we followed that up with a game away at home against Ghent, top of the league. They took an, uh, they got an early goal um, and then scored one uh, on the 60th minute. We had some chances. Uh, I don't think uh, 
we certainly didn't deserve to get smashed in this. They they it was a nice finish the the goal they scored and um, we did battle and we we held them and we weren't outplayed by them so i think that was pleasing i think at home we've been good away from home it's been a different sort of struggle and and i really need to look at the squad and look where we need to improve things look who needs to move on and see if i can actually move those players on that's that's proving tricky Let's just have a quick look at where we are in the league. You can see we are sitting 15th. We've been as high as 12th in, in the last few games, uh, but those last couple of losses just dropped us down the league. We've just gone behind Union, which is a little little disappointing. They're playing Club Bruges, so it would kind of be nice to finish against them because we've beaten them twice. P Pikega, he is third currently in the um, the, the, goal, the top goal scoring um, chart, which I think is brilliant. He's almost there on 20 goals for the season, which would be amazing to hit that. I don't think he scored in the cup. No, he didn't. So it's been a great season. Only one assist, but he's got good XG. A couple of penalties scored. Shots on target. Pretty good, so... He's got a lot of things going for him. So uh, let's see how we do. We're playing OHL today and then we'll come back and have a little whiz through the team and see who's performed well, who's maybe not performed well and kind of think through where we go for season 14. Okay, so team we are going to be going with, we have Pikega is up top as always. He's led the line pretty much all season. Masech on the left, Nana on the right, Van Damme through the center as our attacking three midfielders. We've got Jacquot next to Saidi again in that central midfield role. Uh, Picard continues on the left side. Cisse uh, Diastathis is in for Abouyans. Um, Abouyans is suspended uh, from the last game. And Mayenga is uh, on on the right side with with GoFan in goal. The one interesting thing we got here is that we are going to give potentially a debut to Ayube Benes, who is a central midfielder, someone else that we can maybe bring in there. Looks like he could um, improve somewhat. I think a lot of his attributes at just 17 are pretty much getting into double figures, which is nice. So the right bits of training should um, put him i think in uh in, in, a, in a good good circumstance i think the technique looks particularly strong uh which is is, is kind of nice you do want someone with good technique that that allows them to do the difficult things um more often more correctly so uh, we'll, we'll give him a chance and uh later on in the game but it's a very sort of uh, similar sort of side to the one that's been out uh, in the in the last few games, and I think they've been doing okay. The only difference, as I say, is Geostathis is in for Abul Yans. So uh, let's see how the, how we do. Um, right then, OHL apparently are second in the form table. I hadn't appreciated that, so that is pretty looking pretty good for them. We are because of that going to go on cautious. We're going to start with an encouraged shout, and we'll see how we get on here right first highlight uh it's uh us that is starting as just stathis plays it forward to nana into van damme he's gonna have a little run himself is that a wise move i don't know he does play it back to mayenga mayenga looking for an option it's saidi he's got it he's got a good pass on him he's a very interesting ball i will is that off oh come on that is not offside how is that offside That is rubbish. One interesting thing, Union have taken the lead over um, Club Bruges, so might be quite interesting. So Saidi, absolutely. Oh, come on. After all that, what a lovely finish, and we, we're not allowed that. <sighs> Dear me. Uh, I, I, that could have been Pekega getting his way almost to 20 goals. He's, he's on 18. It'd be great to get him on, off, the, uh, off the mark today to get him to 20. Van Damme with a free kick. Just skirting the post. Close, but no cigar. I just noticed I'm defensive at the minute. I, I meant to put it on cautious. So it's been close. It's nothing in it. The, the two highlights that we've seen have both come to us. One of them offside um, the goal. The, the second one, uh, a free kick that just went wide from Van Damme. So it's not a bad first half. It's nil-nil. 
I think I can be happy with that performance and they are looking inspired and motivated. That is exactly what you want. So let's um, let's demand a little bit more. So Cisse into Picard. Is this going to be a kickoff highlight? The rarity is that. So you don't normally get a highlight unless there is really a highlight to be, uh, to be um, concerned with. Masic, he's looking to have a little run at them. Puts the ball through. It's Nana. Oh, unlucky. Hit the same guy about 10 times. And uh, yeah, yeah, another chance for us. We've had a few like this where we've played well and had the chances and then they score late on. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So we've made one change. Uh, Masech is looking a little bit tired. So he's not playing well. So we're just going to change it up a little bit. We're going to bring Coleman on, who is the right side of midfielder. We're going to play him as an inside forward on support and see if that can improve things a little bit. Another change. Van Herk is coming on for Pekega, who did, who should have got a goal, I think. Um, can Van Herk, he's done nothing all season. Can he get a goal right at the end here? Well, we finish it up. It's a nil-nil. Um, game against OHL it's really not a bad performance actually I feel we've played pretty well there um, we didn't in the end give the the debut to the uh, the youngster decided not to um, wanted to keep things fairly tight um, some good performances uh, throughout the team GoFan playing very well in goal there and uh, yeah Cissé is always playing well Picard good to see a 7.2 performance there also good to see Nanar um, getting a, uh, a 7.4 so all in all that is not bad not a bad result and a good way to finish things so we didn't lose we didn't win but so uh, yeah we didn't lose so we'll have a little look what's happened in the league in the end it was Dines who went down um they well Circle Bruges still haven't played this uh, they've got a game coming up against Genk which will be tomorrow um I mean Genk have had a a poor poor season i think uh, they will be expecting to probably win that and that will put them that makes a really interesting group if they do that because they'll be in um yeah 54 points and it's only one point between all of that that group club bruges finishing outside the top eight that is an absolute disaster and if I'm not mistaken, they had a poor season last year, didn't they? Yeah, they finished 14th last year. Uh, we, we were almost ahead of them. Uh, we're just three points behind them, amazingly. Um, but uh, yeah, this year we had less points in the end the, than last year, but we never really, really felt in any discomfort, really. Uh, Circle Bruges and Dines are the teams that are struggling. Dines will be dropping down into the division below and let's have a look we don't know who's going up yet but in the driving seat currently is Vaslan Beveren which may be a little bit of a surprise to some people but Moosecron are right up there I don't think they've been there for a little while so it's been, it's been a while since they've been in the top league um, and uh, Club Bruges NXT getting relegated now that's another bit of a surprise as well for for me so they've had a, a poor year wow so all has gone on let's just have a quick so let's just have a quick rundown in how things finished up um in terms of ratings and stuff goals um Pikega has been an excellent sign i think really really good signing um 18 goals only one assist and maybe that's something that he needs to improve on um Tackling is very, very low. I guess you'd expect that from a striker. But his shot percentage, 59% on target, is pretty good, I think. Not Didn't pick up a yellow or a red card. And a 6.8 average rating It's not bad at all. Um, Masech and Van Dam uh, scoring a few goals. And as did Delanoy as well. As did Nana and Cissé got a few from centre-back. But we only saw a single goal from Van Herk, which I think is the big disappointment of this, this season. Assist-wise, it's Nanar who has been the superstar for me as the assist maker. Um, he could have scored and probably should have scored a few more goals based on the XG there, but uh, he made up for it with getting a bunch of assists. Pretty much a seven average rating. Very, very good. 
So we'll look at the average rating. So it's there's two, only two over seven. Uh, Matthias Gofan, who played every single game this season, and Ibrahim Assise, who only missed one. Um, both just over a seven. And as, as I said, Nana pretty much there as well. So three very, very good performance. Uh, uh, I think if I was going to give a player of the season award, I think for consistency, uh, probably Ibrahim Assise. I think he's been, been very good. Even without his goals, he's been a, a real useful player. What are we going to do without him? What are we going to do without him? And finally, as promised, we are going to be renaming Matteo Bertrand. In, in the end, there was only one entry into the competition, and it is Acasio Martins with his entry. His fun fact was that Diego Maradona has an excellent chalk dust collection. I believe he does, actually. So we are going to have a Diego Maradona in the team. I think it's worth it. There we go. Let's hope he is, is as good as his namesake. Thank you very much for your inv getting involved in the competitions. We'll, we'll do another one for next season and be renaming another one of our players next year. I haven't talked about any of the youngsters that have come through, but um, it was supposed to be a golden generation last time out. It wasn't really. It, it was a pretty a pretty terrible generation. I was really quite disappointed with, with them. There wasn't really much to, uh, to write home about. So... Um, Probably next season, we will be looking at what else we've got. There's, there are some quality players in here. Anyway, folks, I am off to do the next preseason. Signings are going to be very, very important. Hopefully, we get uh, no change in our wage budget. I think that will be really good if we can keep that because I'd love to bring in maybe a couple more decent players just to give... Um, the squad a little bit more uh, oomph. Um, there is one player coming in who's not that good, but he gives us a little more uh, backup and not particularly expensive on the wages. So I'll be looking for two quality players, I think. Possibly someone to uh, rival um, Van Damme in central midfield, because I think we don't really have anyone, anyone else there. Um, and exactly where the other player is, I am not entirely sure, but we'll have a look at where we are lacking. Basically, I'll see what I can find. Uh, I think we could improve pretty much everywhere. There's some aging players, and if we can um, replace any of those, that would be great. Um, if we can get rid of the likes of Fadiga, that would be great. And maybe our left backs, if we can get rid of maybe Rondil or even Koida, I think that would be an excellent thing. Masech, he will be here next season though. Okay, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new and I will see you next season. Goodbye.